the formidable robot. Where have I got myself into? First of all, I'm Nicholas, and I've grown up in the age of Noggin. Before Nick Jr., it was a program called Noggin. I found an unmarked VHS tape after buying a collection from a buddy of mine. The tape was from a recorded VHS company I've never heard of, Telemark. One Google search and nothing. Anyways, I made a few calls up from some buddies of mine who work in telecommunications, specifically in airing bumpers and promos. They've collectively said that the tape I received might have been a bumper prototype. What's a bumper prototype? When a 3D modeler or a bumper promo artist make a coherent bumper, they make a VHS tape as a prototype. Pink Panther is way better than Snagglepuss goddammit. After finishing up the calls, I inserted the tape in my VCR and rewound it. After two minutes of rewinding, the VCR stopped. I pressed play after much hesitation and pet talk, so does trying to end off a sentence with a small dot and drinking some Pepsi Max. It started with some commercials before it started with the up next screen of Blue's Clues. Then it started with the this show was made for not in bumper. Here's where I'll need to explain. The bumper was basically saying that the show was made for not in but it'll be moved to Nick Jr. and aired on February 2nd 1999 to February 2009. With that out of the way, the bumper stopped at the end with the noggin face smiling. Then, the last bit of music looped. Before switching to the purple background, a series of words were shown. They were split in pieces, so I had to connect them. Here's what it was. Noggin is a dying artist. We'll need to abandon ship at some point. I'm sick and tired of everyone being abusive to me. I'm always putting on a smile like that face. I'm gonna end it pretty soon. Then at the end, this showed up, and my blood ran cold and my body tensed up. You'll end yourself soon enough with the stuff I've been through. I've had to ask myself if I was dreaming. Was I entirely losing it? Did I finally snap? Did my mentality snap? Did my brain rot senses snap? I staggered towards the bathroom and drank a whole cup of water before noticing the tape immediately stopping. But I needed to look back, so I rewound the tape. Then, I saw the font. It looked funky. I didn't bother asking. I ejected the tape and threw it in the recycling bin. I contacted my friends back to tell what happened. One of my friends told me that the reason why was that one of the workers was the same one who worked at Nick Jr. later on. The same guy way back then, and my god, I found the name, Donald Ruffersward Jr. As I'm typing this, I'm currently staying at a motel. I'll be visiting my parents for a while, maybe stay for a week. I need time to recover. This is too much. Update. As I'm typing this, I just realized that I forgot to mention a detail. The music, after the bumper stopped at the last part, was replaced with a haunting piano tune. It was strangely enough, Moonlight Sonata.